Jesus tells us, love one another. Well, that sounds good. But then he specifies, love your enemies, do good to them. That's a little more difficult. But he says, if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Are you paying someone back by loving those you owe love? Or is true love leading you to true selflessness? And Jesus gives us this metaphor about lending money. It's different to lend money expecting that it'll be repaid or to lend money expecting nothing back. Just as it's different to love someone expecting them to love you back or to love someone even when they ignore you, even when they're ungrateful, even when they curse you. What is love? How does God love? God loves us even when we ignore him. God loves us even when we sin. God loves us inviting us to love him back, but he doesn't stop loving us when we don't love him. If we love those who love us, does that mean we can hate those who hate us? No. Look at the way David responds in our first reading. King Saul isn't being loving toward him. King Saul wants to kill David. So David's lieutenant thinks King Saul should be treated the same way. Why not kill him first? But David responds with respect, even when he isn't offered respect. He values Saul's life, even when Saul doesn't value David's life. The gospel tells us to be merciful just as your father is merciful. Interesting that we call God Father. Jesus is trying to tell us that God's love for us is the model for parental love. The kind of love that says, I'm always here for you. The kind of love that says, I will never forget you. The kind of love that invites you to love and return, but stays with you even when you don't. So when you hear that we should love one another, don't just think that it's a nice thing to say. It's a challenge because God doesn't put limits on who that other person is. It's everyone. We can't be stingy with our love. The gospel encourages us to have a generous heart. Again, with the metaphors, it's like going to a bulk food market and the merchant measuring out how much he'll give you. Is he generous, letting the measurement kind of overflow? Or does he make sure you don't get any extra? How does God give to us? His love is overflowing. So our love should be given with a good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing. That's the way that God loves us. That's the example he gives us to imitate. Out of love, God reaches out to everyone. Out of love, God gives of himself. Out of love, God is willing to forgive sins. If God is willing to forgive us, shouldn't we be willing to forgive each other? If God is merciful to, to us, shouldn't we be merciful toward those who fail to love? The Lord is kind and merciful. So be merciful just as your Father is merciful and love just as God loves.